thing that I wanted to bring up. I think there was a Time Magazine article a couple of, uh, maybe a year ago, that had um, looked at the, is it the National Weight Loss Registry? Um, and had said, you know, like, what works? Like, we're going to figure out what works. And the yeah. thing that they had found was the people who had lost and maintained a loss of a lot of weight were the ones who tried a bunch of different things. And I think they had said, um, if you had tried three different things, you were more likely to find one that worked for you and yeah. stick with it. You know, so, yeah, I don't think we can, like you said earlier, I don't think we can just say, like, this is, you know, this is the one that's the fad and has been marketed to me. Therefore, it has magical properties and it's going to work for me just like it worked for the person on TV. Right. Like I said, maybe try it. If it works, that's great. If it if you find it unsustainable, right. find something else or meet oh, with a professional a like you and come up with a, a better plan. Mm -hmm. Um, but the people who just sort of like, well, it doesn't work, therefore I can't lose weight and gave up, you know, right. didn't make it onto that weight loss registry. That makes sense. No, I think that's a great point is that we just need to keep trying, mm -hmm. you know, um, taking a step back and looking at the whole picture and seeing what we did that did work as part of this diet, what we did that didn't work, and then kind of tailor tailoring it, which is why it is so good to meet with a registered dietitian. Um, you know, and not just a nutritionist or not somebody that's a nutrition coach per se, you know, making sure that you're seeing a registered dietitian that has this experience working and making a plan, making goals based on previous experiences. So, so yeah, I think that's a, that's a really good point to make. Thank you. you. Know? Yeah. <laughs> um, the next thing I wanted to touch on, uh, well, do you have any other, any other diets that you get asked about a lot that we didn't cover that you wanted to spend time on? Um, I feel like paleo and keto are definitely the, the biggest ones that I get asked about a lot and just like low carb in general, mm -hmm. which does work. Yeah. But then what happens is that it's not sustainable. Right. Yeah. Those are really the main ones I would say. I mean, if they, if I were to pick one that really does, that's sh been shown to really work, it would be Weight Watchers. Yeah. You know, I'm not saying that it works for everybody, but I would say that it definitely works the best and that it allows us to eat these foods and it points out the foods that are healthier you know it's so. in the muscle i guess i don't i don't know that's uh -oh. a good question I think we broken the like conspiracy <laughs> <laughs> it's minimal it this must be minimal amounts like you must yeah. it must somehow i have no idea what happens to muscle glycogen after you die oh god we need to write this down <laughs> no seriously i don't know that don't i don't know that okay that's true, that's true. figure out is so smart <laughs> Hendrick, I'm leaving that up to you. I'm gonna go find a coat and some goggles. Find that out. We're gonna find out. Find that out? I don't know. <laughs>